day for 10,000 more on demand. Learn more at Peloton Bike at OnePeloton.com. Visit your local showroom. You ever done a spin class? I have. <laughs> Wore <Yeah>. me out. <laughs> <laughs> it is. All right. All... So you like, uh, you think the Colts will give the Chiefs a real game. You'll take Kansas City. Yeah. Uh, you'll take the Rams rested at home over the Cowboys. Um, let's go to Chargers Patriots. Um, who do you like and why? Take your time. <sighs> I've been saying New England because they're consistently what what they've been able to do for the last 12 15 years is it ha, has been unparalleled and 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 I don't want to uh I don't want to not put that into in, into my consideration of course because you have to go with the constant and I feel like coach Belichick Tom Brady you know it's hard to pick against those guys but this, 22 this, degrees. this is the first time I'm probably <laughs> going to say it out loud. I've, 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 I've thought about this in my head, and I've always took New England. I've always took New England. But it's something about the way New England hasn't quite looked like New England. And for that fact, I'm, 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 I'm going to take the Chargers. This is my first time saying that out loud. Every, every other time someone's asked me, I've always taken New England. Um, but, you know, the more and more I think about it and I think about that Chargers team and the way they've been playing and the way they can put pressure on Tom Brady with just rushing their four down linemen. That's what they do. They don't blitz much. They don't need they, they, I think yeah. they blitz less than any team in the National yeah, Football Gus League. Yeah, Bradley doesn't blitz. He wants his pass rushers to rush and his cover guys to cover. Now, if, if Melvin Gordon can run the ball, I'm, I'm sorry, I said Melvin Gordon. If if Sony Michelle can run the ball for, 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 for New England, that's something that, you know, will make them change a little bit what they do, um, the Chargers. But, I mean, I just think the Chargers roster is so talented. Oh, God. Um, offensively, it's yeah, not offensively, close. Yeah, offensively, going, in, going into you know, New England is a tough place to play. You know, in a playoff-type atmosphere, Phillip Rivers has never won. Um, I don't think he's ever beat Tom Brady, has oh, and he? 0-7. And so, you know, that's a little bit of a monkey on his back, but... You know, I'm going to go with old Phil, man. Phil was in my draft class. I'm going to ride with, uh, with old Phil. <laughs> he still looks good, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he does. He, by the way, you, I don't know what it is with the seven or eight kids, but I've never seen a guy with that much energy after a game. He always gets interviewed after the Chargers win games. He's talking a thousand. He makes me look like a slow talker. <laughs> Philip Rivers got so much energy. No, he has a lot. Of yeah, he is just it. bursting through the seams. Okay, and finally, everybody loves the Saints this weekend. But the Saints give up yards. They Philadelphia's do. got a lot of ballers. They do. They do. You know, if I had to put a percent on the Eagles, if they could go in New Orleans and win, I probably would say 10%. But all you need is 1%. You know, you, you just need 1%. You know, I've played in games where I felt like, man, if, if we played those guys 100 times, we'd win 99. But today, they won. How, how the heck is that possible? This is one of those games. When you think of this Saints offense, this Saints team, what they were able to do against the Eagles early in the year um, with Carson Wentz, um, you know, it, it, it's almost like, are you kidding me? Because Nick Foles is nowhere near the kind of player Carson Wentz is. But it's something about that Nick Foles magic, man. You know, in, in these playoffs and in, in, in the playoffs last year, he just catches fire. He's so confident. Those guys rally rally behind him. And that's what you need. You want guys to want to play for your coach, for your leaders, for your quarterback. Um, and those guys in Philly, man, they play for Nick Foles. And so, you know, I I I would like to bet my life and say the Saints will, you know, will win this game. But you think it's close. But I mean, I give Philly a chance. I really do, because I mean, that front four, I mean, this secondary of the Eagles are a makeshift bunch who I don't think maybe one guy was was starting in, in, in week one, and that's Malcolm Jenkins, I think. He's the only secondary player um, that was starting in week one that's still starting now. And so to have all of those guys go down and replace them, and at, 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 at times Philly secondary did look bad, yeah. but you know what bailed them out was that front. And I think that front understands, hey, look, we got some young guys back here. We're not at full strength on the back end. We're landing on the line. And you saw it first against the Rams. You saw that front get after Jerry Goff. And if they can do the same thing to the Saints and that offense down there in that place, I mean, it's, Eagles got a chance. But I, I'm, I'm saying the Saints are going to win, but the Eagles have a legitimate chance because they're playing outstanding football. You just want to get hot at the right time. And they got hot last year. The proof was in the pudding. You ever play on a team that got magic that you you didn't think you had the best team? Did you ever have a six or an eight week run in the NFL? Yeah. Oh yeah. 
Oh, yeah. You remember? I think you might even remember RG's rookie year. Yes. We were three and six. Three and six and finished ten and six. <laughs> and had had uh, Seattle on the ropes in the first round of the playoffs. What happened? How? I mean, we just had him on the rope. We, I mean, we were up 14, I think, 14-3 or 14-0. And then RG gets hurt. He gets hurt. He hurts his ACL. Well, you know what? We keep the game close until the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter is when he goes down, and they just continue to make play after play, and we just couldn't. Yeah. I mean, we didn't put any more points up after that right. 14, and it just made it. But you I had mean, a seven-week run with a rookie yeah, quarterback. Yeah, we had a seven-week run where we were like, man, it don't matter what we do. Like, we could not make a mistake. Yeah. No, it happens. Tebow had it. RG3 had it. Lamar Jackson had it. Sometimes when you bring something new into the league and the league hasn't seen it. Oh, yeah. It takes a while to figure it out. Especially running quarterbacks. They yeah. can't <laughs> quite get the. By the way, Chargers beat Baltimore. The second time they played yeah. him, and the Patriots crushed Tebow the second time they played him. Yeah. The running stuffs I don't think is sustainable over 10 years, but it goes on rolls. Uh, great seeing you. Oh, thank you. Thank all you. Right. I appreciate it. Bla Blazing five, top of next hour. I'll make all four of my picks. We were 4-0 last weekend, which only guarantees we won't be 4-0 <laughs> this weekend. It doesn't work that way. If you've got the cold, the dreaded stuffy nose and flu season is here. Try Vic Sinex Nasal Spray. Works up to 12 hours. Use only as directed.